guys welcome back to good show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix wwe 2k23 is having slow motion uh, slow motion issue which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app so we're going to talk about how we can fix this app so let's dive into this so without wasting time let me show you the steps so just follow the instruction the first one is all about we need to turn off timer game update in game ine file so i'm going to show you that so just close this go to the file explorer now from here go to documents now from here if you scroll down you will be able to see wwe 2k23 so just open this open this config file now from here as you can see the timer underscore game update is being turned on so you just have to turn this off that means you have to give the command off so give the command off so timer underscore game update should be turned on so you just have to turn this off once you set this to turn this off just go to the file go for save and once you save this just close this once again go back and try to play the game and that is what we need to do this is the first step next one is all about we need to rename config.ine file for that we just need to follow the same instruction go to the file explorer now go to documents now from here go to wwe 2k23 so just open this now from here as you can see this is the folder okay this is the folder which is uh, the config folder is this one so what we need to do is we just need to edit this up i mean you have to rename it for that we just need to uh, do like this so i think it's got stuck so i'll do one thing i'll close this i'll do it once again just go to file explorer go to uh sorry once again okay it's fine now let me open this now i need to go to documents scroll down to wwe 2k23 now we have the config but we need to rename it so just right click go to show more options go to rename so just give a uh, config a uh, dot old like or you can give anything just give or even one two number anything is fine just give one two once it is saved so just uh, it is changed to config one to a new folder i mean name just close this and go back and try to play the game as well next one is all about we need to delete it, the save game file which is going to uh, lose all the progressions but it is fine this did work it for many users and you can try this out for that just go to the file explorer once again now go to documents over here now go to wwe 2k23 just delete this particular folder okay delete this particular folder and you'll be losing every progressions but it is fine this did work it for many users and you can try this out and i hope this video is helpful so uh you can try this step that is very important so this this did work it so you can try this out for sure so let's move to the next step so next step is all about we have to change windows display refresh rate to 60 hertz for that we have to go over here we need to go to settings now from here go to system at the top now go to display now from here you have to scroll down and over here you need to check what is being set into over here so go to advanced display now from here as you can see they choose a refresh rate so this being there so as you can see the refresh rate is being set into 300.19 hertz now you need to change this to 16.04 hertz change this to 16.04 hertz because uh, this is 300.19 is causing the issue for many users but when, when they change this this did work out for them so what you need to do is you know, just need to change into th uh, 300.19 not 300 change this to 600 uh, 604 changes to 604 and once it is done you just have to close this go back and try to play the game this did work uh, this did particular step did work out for many users as i have seen it in the reddit as well as in the steam community forum on the wwe 2k23 people mentioned this steps so you can try this out as well next one is we need to uh, lower the native resolution so uh, for that we just need to follow the same instruction so that we need to go over here in the search we need to go to settings first now go to system at the top uh, sorry go to display now from here if you go to uh, over here if you go to advanced uh, display over here we can see that the uh, resolution is being set into uh, one, uh, 19020 
So if you go back a little bit, I'll show you this. Okay, here under the display resolution, we can see that we have many option, like we have many option, but we set into 1920, that is 1080, which is mostly recommended. So what we need to do is we need to do the same display resolution in the game itself. So if the resolution in the game is lower and the resolution in the windows is higher, then that is causing the issue for slow motion. So oh, from here you understood that uh, 1920, 1080 is our resolution in the windows. So now we need to go back to the game. We need to open the game and what we need to do is we just need to uh, change. We just need to change this one. That is we need just to change the resolution or cross check the resolution from our side and we need to change this to the same that exact of this one. So 190, uh, 1920, 1080, we need to do to the same. So that is going to work for you. For many users, this did work it. So you can try this out as well. So just launch the game. And once you launch the game, you have to move to the settings. Now go to extras over here, as you can see, just select extras. Now from here, go to graphics settings. Now from here, the first thing is we need to make the changes in the following one. Like I said, first thing is if you go to the window mode, we need to change this to, yes, we need to change this to windowed mode. Next one is go to the screen resolution over here. This is an important step. So uh, on the screen resolution, if you go back, you can see that it is 1280720, which is causing the issue. So we need to change this to same as that of Windows. So Windows is 1920-1080. So change this to 1920-80, which is off Windows. So that is going to fix the issue. And this is the first step you need to do. Next one is we need to make few changes in the graphics setting. So I'm going to show you that from the here itself. First thing, make sure if the VSync, you turn it on, you have to turn this off. If it is turn it off, you have to turn this on. So over here, as you can see, it is turn it on. So I'm going to turn this off. Then if I go to the uh, refresh rate, it's been set into this. And over here, as you can see, if the model quality is set been to high, change this to standard. Shadow should be turned into off. It should be turned off. And shadow quality should be turned off as well. And the shader quality should be, you know, I, I must say it should be at least low. This has been set into low. And if you go to Andy Ellis, it is fine. The reflection should be a little bit low. Keep this to low. And go to over here, if you see depth of field, it is turn it off. You have to turn this off. Now from here, you have to go back at the top, keep scrolling down. And over here, as you can see, the FPS should be turned it to, or you can change this to 60 at least. So keep this to 60 because that is going to work for you. So these are the changes you need to make inside this. So this is how you can alter the, uh, uh, you know, uh, lower down the settings and make sure this is done. And once all this being set into done, you just have to go back and you have to save this. Okay. Shoe, uh, you don't want to keep this or issue you want to go for yes. And once it's done this, you just need to close the game. You can just close the game in between. Then you have to restart your PC or laptop, then try to play the game once again. And that is going to work for you as well. Next one is we need to run the game or dedicate a graphics card. For that, we have to go over here in the search. Go for graphics settings. Now from here, you need to add it by manually if it is not added. So as you can see, I have already added the WWE 2K23. So I'll show you how to add it. So just click on the browse. Now from here, go to this PC local disk C, open this. Keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86. Keep scroll scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Now from here, go to Steam apps. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, you just have to go to WWE 2K23. So just select this one and add it. So it is already added. As you can see, it's already added. So this is how you need to add it. So once you successfully added it, you just have to go over here, click on the option, change this to high performance. Okay. Change this from let Windows decide to high performance. Go for save and close this and try to play the game. Last one is all about we need to update the graphics card by manually. For that, I'll be providing link in the description for both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. On the AMD users, sorry, NVIDIA users, they just have to open the link in the description. They'll land you in this. Now from here, select the product type. Select the respective details. Go for product operating system. It should be Windows 11. Go for uh, all the details like this and go for start search. 
when you go for start search what happens is you will be able to find the folder so from here we have to download the latest version of graphics card so just download this so after downloading the latest versions if you are having trouble just uh, once again go to the same link on the nvidia and download a little bit older versions of graphics card that is going to work for you as well if you're on the amd you have to sell the respective uh, models on the graphics like all the details of it and go for submit now from here you'll be getting option to download windows 11 64 bit and windows 10 if you're on windows 10 download this one if you're on windows 11 download this one as well download and install and that is going to work for you as well so these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having wwe 2k23 slow motion issue and how you can fix yourself and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye